Let's talk about tower chests. You get them about every 10 cycles. If you're king tower 14 or above, you should get them every seven cycles. But let's talk about why the chest isn't a scam. First, I need to collect it. Let's play the new evolution. Wait, why does my tower default to cannoneer? Is it a draft of the cannoneer or is it because it's my default? Oh, they gave me Valkyrie evolution over anything else. Oh my God. Why are there E-barns? Evolution Valkyrie just pushed herself to death. She stinks. She pushed the hunter closer. The one time they don't give an evolution more health. Bro, I'm trying to win so I can get a chest. Cannoneer sucks and we're going to win with a cannoneer. Evolution Valkyrie should be a little bit weaker to cannoneer, I think. Mega Minion gets completely countered. I actually need Electro Spirit because uh, cannoneer sucks. We haven't lost the last three games because of cannoneer. Totally not me being salty. Ha! <laughs> He doesn't know. Cannoneer completely counters spirits. And then we kite. Musketeer does her thing. It's crazy. They don't know that I'm actually weak against Swarm. I'm just going to snowball that just so that it attacks slightly slower. Wow. It killed it. Oh my god, Ram Rider actually does such a good job at that. Come on, one more hit. Woo! Oh, they can't handle my greatness. Ram Rider connects. This tower chest is a free chest that comes for free every 10 or so cycles, and it technically adds more progression. If you don't have the cannoneer unlocked, it can seem kind of pay to win. But when's the last time they gave us level 15 evolutions on day one? Like when they released the little prince, they didn't give us level 15 little prince, if you think about it like that. And if you already have a level 15 cannoneer or specifically level 15 princess, then you're going to get elite wild cards for this. And technically, this is a huge buff to progression because this is a free chest anyways. It does cost one extra game, but it doesn't take away from all your, your other big chests. I don't know if I explained that well. But because it's a free chest that's added to your cycle, it doesn't take away from regular chests. It's technically one of the first few buffs that Supercell has ever done. Everyone's complaining about it, that the Cannoneer is a scam. But is the Cannoneer really pay to win? I'm pretty sure the Cannoneer is pay to lose. You're not winning when you're playing the Cannoneer, all right? I think this, there's a 47% win rate on it. Like, yeah, it counters the Fire Spirits. And it does force you to play in a completely different way, but not once have I faced the cannoneer. I'm like, oh, this pay to win guy. He's he's beating me because he's got the cannoneer. All right, this guy needs to chill. Cannoneer is so unreliable. I hate this. I hate this so much. The one good thing about having a max out cannoneer is I get 400 elite wild cards for the free tower chest troop. That's actually really generous if you think about it. The fact that elite wild cards are so hard to come by and you barely get like 25,000 of them per season. Like how much is, is the stack worth in elite wild cards? 100? Yeah, that's not much. I, I wish that this was a pay to win tower troop right now. I would be demolishing everyone in this challenge. Crap. Why didn't... I wait. Despite all the horrendous misplays, the one thing about the cannoneer, it does have a faster attack speed. So we got that going for us. Flying machine did not connect. I'm pretty happy about that split. Cannoneer just wrecks. Come on, battle ram. Let's go. Oh, that Valkyrie's going to provide me insane magic archer value. The one time my cannoneer is winning. This is like my first win all day. I'll take it. Am I bad? Is the cannoneer bad? A little bit of A, a little bit of B. All right. I really don't think they realize that splitting piglets is, is one of the few weaknesses. Or one of the strengths of cannoneer. It's great. It's actually so great. 
Bird's gonna go full aggressive. Oh my god. Evolution Valkyrie did a thing. Not bad. Okay, I, I honest, that was the one time Cannoneer was good because they didn't know that splitting on Cannoneer is a bad play. Somebody hasn't watched my video. I'm just going to gem this because we only need one more chest troop. I kind of want the princess. I do like suffering, so this is the try not to lose with Cannoneer challenge. I'm going with the balloon. It's not a good idea, but I did it anyways. Oh, it's a great idea. And then I think I like fully counter both pushes. Oh, Cannoneer one-shotting that is so beautiful. If they're rushing with Giant, that's not that's not that bad. It's not that bad. I have Cannoneer. If I arrows that, the cannon cart's not going to connect as long as they don't do anything. Oh god, they did something. <clears throat> I'm stupid. I was winning. Okay, this one wasn't Cannoneer's fault. This was this was actually my fault. <laughs> Knight into wizard. This is great. Hmm. Oh god, that wizard though. We should be fine. I think we should be fine. I almost threw that so bad. And then that's a giant chest. I'm spending gems for you guys. Oh, they did split wall breakers. They didn't know. I'm just going to arrows all of that. All right. The left side might be a write off and that's totally okay. Oh my God. It's not. Okay. If I can get the archer or the witch, then we're good. We're, we're actually good. Okay. Good. Now are we though? I'm going in with Magic Archer. Let's go. Well, that witch melted. Wallbreaker. Connects. That's fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. I just need to arrows, and we're good. Cannoneer is a struggle. There's the third chest. Then we're going to get a giant gold crate gold. I, I want this one. I could switch away from Cannoneer and not suffer. Valkyrie in the back. I love that. That's full damage. We're never going to get full damage again. They're going to have world delivery and rotation next time. Oh my God. Barbarians are the MVP for tanking everything right now. Holy crap. How did nothing connect? Oh, shoot. Yes! Slightly hooked it. I'll take that win. I'll take anything at this point. Let's give them fireball value. It's to bait the royal delivery. Oh, goodness gracious. Why is that so deadly? All right, we did a thing. 
Bowler connects. Fisherman with Cannoneer is so good. And this one should be the giant chest. I really wish I had keys. What happened to all the keys? It's crazy to me that a giant chest gives you more elite wild cards than a magical chest does. Is this the first game we could win because I have decent draft cards? I hate Cannoneer. I also hate that I have to pick all swarm for the Cannoneer or I'm going to die. <laughs> On the plus side, they gave me graveyard. That would have wrecked me. A naked graveyard would have destroyed my tower. All right, we got to delicately and gingerly weave the scar me. That is fireball value. But that's a tower connection. Dang it. Graveyard was not necessary there. Nope. That's it. That's good game. It gave me geometry magic archers. And that's another gold chest. Now we just need crate into gold into tower. Giant and minion horde. Should be enough, right? And if they do wizard. Mm-hmm. That is one deadly cannon here, and I love it. All right, let's do the tango again. Oh, I guess they gave up. <laughs> Cannoneer counters the golem pick. Oh, the one victory I get. Evolved Mortar is actually good with Cannoneer because it protects it so well. This should be the crate. What are these mid-ladder picks? Minion Horde, Mega Knight, Witch, Golem? At least with Cannoneer, I don't have choice paralysis and it kind of gives me an idea of what to actually pick. Oh my God. The Lumberjack didn't even do any damage. One hit. I love that they gave me P.E.K.K.A. Does that connect? You know what else connects? An Evolution Ice Spirit. That's more damage than a rocket! And it's frozen! I just need to cycle back to 7 Elixir for the witch, and then we should be good. Oh my god. That's gonna be such a freaking thick push. I don't know how they're going to... Deal with... All that stuff right now. Minion Horde. Pack up. Mega Murnut. That was the most mid-ladder push I've ever done in my life. This is the last golden chest before we get the tower tr troop. Prediction bomber. <laughs> All right. They actually have nothing for this now. Oh, that's great. That's so great. I love being annoying. We're only winning because we have all cycle. And I only took all cycle because I'm fearing for my life right now. Oh, crap. I have to distract the bowler and they're going to log or something. And that's fine. 
distract the ice wizard. Nurmer good. Yes! Farmer connects! I'm awesome! Cannoneer is hard to play in draft. It only works in very specific decks. There's the tower chest. Which is technically free. It's only 19 star points though. And because it's not the epic cannoneer, it's only 19 elite wild cards. It's technically free progression. It's the first time they've inflated the economy instead of taking away. So plus one point to Supercell for that, I guess. And you get tower troops in your king level progress. So it's technically free progression. I don't like how they did it, but people complaining that it's worse or that it's the chest is a scam. It's literally a free extra chest in your cycle. The only scam is that you just have to play an extra game when you get the chests. Strangely enough, Supercell made it a net positive for the economy. 